The following is a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis with intravenous contrast in a patient who presents to the emergency department with pelvic pain. We start at the lung bases and scroll through the images to get a general guide and understanding of what's happening. So on primary review, we can see that there are multiple abnormalities within the abdomen. The most striking abnormality is that there is ascites and peritoneal caking within the abdomen. A mental caking is most marked in the midline, in the mid to lower pelvis, and also left of the midline. In the upper abdomen, there is abnormality of the liver, characterized by significant intrahepatic biliary duct dilatation in segment two and three, also known as the left lobe of liver. Intrahepatic biliary ducts converge into a point in the central liver where there is focal low density attenuation, which is ill defined. I'll just point it out to you guys here. You can also see that there, in this region, there is distortion and attenuation of vasculature, namely the portal vein. Overlying this, there is retraction of the liver capsule right here. The constellation of findings are compatible with intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma. If we make our way back down to the pelvis, we would recall that the patient presented with pelvic pain. You can see in the left and next are, there is a large ovoid ovarian lesion, which has solid and cystic components. It's well circumscribed. In the context of cholangiocarcinoma, the left ovarian lesion is consistent with a ovarian metastasis. This is also known as a Krokenberg tumor. In cases of known disseminated metastatic disease, it's important to evaluate the lung basis to look for evidence of pulmonary metastases. We change the windowing to a liver window, to a lung window, to so further evaluate the lungs. You can see there are multiple small pulmonary nodules within both lungs associated with a small pleural effusion. These represent pulmonary met metastatic disease. We can sum up this case by saying that this patient has features of metastatic melangiocarcinoma resulting in ascites, peritoneal caking, and a left ovarian metastasis. There is also evidence of innumerable pulmonary metastasis within the lung bases. This patient should be referred initially to the gynecological team due to pelvic pain as a primary presentation. Furthermore, the patient requires further evaluation with the medical oncology team to manage their underlying condition of metastatic cholangiocarcinoma. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you.